He never said to white nationalists explicitly, and if he did, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I don't think he did, uh, say, he never said, I don't want your support. Don't vote for me. I don't think he did. Uh, I was there every day. How do you feel about the recent endorsement from David Duke? I didn't even know he endorsed me. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right. I disavow, okay? I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. I've been doing it now for two weeks. This is you're probably about the 18th person that's asked me the question. Uh, David Duke is a bad person who I disavowed on numerous occasions over the years. What he didn't do is say that, uh, that he was not going to accept the support of any of these fringe groups. I've rejected David Duke, rejected David Duke. Uh, I've rejected the uh, KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. From the time I'm five years old, I rejected them. Donald Trump refusing to condemn former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard David Duke. What do you see as the biggest problem with the Reform Party right now? Well, you've got David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. If he said on Friday, I disavow, why ask him again on Saturday? Why not disavow David Duke, disavow the KKK? What's going on? I'm saying to myself, how many times do I have to can you continue to disavow people? And the question was asked about David, group, David Duke and various groups. When I put out that I reject the KKK and David Duke, nobody picks it up. You know why they're not? Because they don't want to pick it up. I disavowed him on Friday. I disavowed him right after that because I thought if there was any question, and you take a look at Twitter, almost immediately after on Twitter and Facebook, they were disavowed again. I disavowed him every time I speak to somebody virtually, and, you know, they just keep it going. They keep it going. I don't like any group of hate. Hate groups are not for me. But I've said this before. The press hates me to say it. They just don't want to pick it up. So are you prepared right now to make a clear and unequivocal statement renouncing the support of all white supremacists? Of course I am. Some of your supporters in Chicago were 